Uh, Darko the Moon Pumpkin Stout. Uno Momento. I have to use the uh, app on my tablet because if not, I can't see anybody saying anything. All right. Uh, seven and a half percent. Uh, the 2021 version is a little different than anything else before. Go to untapped. Uh, it's a higher percentage. I think uh, last year's was 6% or previous years. Um, however, it doesn't say anything that's in it. So I'm going to go to the previous years and see what it says. Dark of the Moon Pumpkin Spout. Spookily smooth and chocolate, chocolatey. Uh, perennial favorite of 2010 silver medalist in the Great American Beer Festival filled beer category Dark O the Moon is brewed with Great Western Pale, Chris 77, Crystal Munich, Care of Vienna, Roasted. Okay, there's an extra or extra comma there. Uh, roasted chocolate and special B malts with roasted pumpkin seeds in the mash. Pumpkin in the mash, kettled for a minute. Got some cinnamon and shit in it too. All right. Once again, tablet is being stupid. Get on into it. This has been sitting out for about 35-ish or so minutes. Mm. It's like you took cinnamon and caught it on fire. Oh, damn good. Cheers. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That is the perfect, the perfect temp. Damn good. So I've been talking about knives because, um, well, I've been getting into knives a lot lately. Um, I probably got about eight or so new ones in the past two months. Ranging from 50 to 120. Uh, this was the one I talked about last. Um, I've already started the initial uh, video of, video review of it. This is the uh, Orion Solaris titanium clip. It's the... I, I think it's raindrop carbon fiber. I keep calling it teardrop. It's got the red accents. Red backspacer. You can see it's got layers of carbon fiber in it. Um... Now it's a flipper and a thumb stab. I mean, it's it's a pretty good action, but then you uh, it's a button lock. So you got your flipper. You can flip your flip your thumb thumb stud on the one side, or you can reverse flick it, or you can just hold the hold the uh, the lock. Do it that way. Let me get my watch off. That's what's making a lot of the noise. Hardly any side to side, a little bit up and down. It's to be expected with the button lock. Uh, this was 80 bucks before the uh, uh, raindrop carbon fiber scales. There's your button side. I'm going to, uh, don't worry if you're left handed, you see right there the little cutout, you can reverse the clip. I'm going to see if he might consider doing a carbon fiber collar, backspacer, and possibly a carbon fiber pocket clip. I don't care if the pocket clip's a little thicker, you know, if it's two, three times as thick as what it is now. I think it's fine. I think it would tie in really nicely with the entire knife. Uh, the collar and the backspacer doesn't have to have this pattern if it's just a standard carbon fiber look or even if it's just blacked out, I think that would be fine. Or even G10, I wouldn't mind having black G10, uh, backspacer and collar, or even white. That way you could dye it whatever color you want. That would be also amazing. 
um, maybe 3D print or do a glow in the dark G10. Uh, it'll be a whitish, greenish color. You can still dye those and um, and still have a little bit of the glow characteristics. Damn good beer though. I think if it was five degrees colder, it would be sweeter. It's more of a um, bitter cinnamon. I could tell it's got that pumpkin-esque kind of thing on the very beginning of it, but on the tail end, um, like a chicory bitterness kind of takes over. One thing I don't like really is it's too carbonated for being something this thick. And I could, I could understand if it was smaller, wrong one, if it was smaller carbonation bubbles, but these are kind of larger. And if I go to make it flat, it's going to taste terrible. So I'm just going to have to deal with it. Um, I'd like to see this in a nitro version. I don't know if the alcohol would let that stay in check or not. Uh, it's always worth the shot, I guess. So I think out of the four pack, this was my first or second favorite. I still have uh, one more to do. And that one I actually did buy a six pack of. So we'll get into that. Maybe, well, I'll probably do it today. So if you're watching this now, I'm probably going to go yeah, prep for it. Let's see, you commented right there. I'm probably going to go live again later on. I'm sure you're at work or abducting some sexy ladies that are side, you know, sock while walking on the side of the street. Here in America, we call them whores, prostitutes. <laughs> um, get into what people gave this and said about it. Let me go back to the 2021. Uh, the 2021 did get a 0 0.05 score better. I, for being an extra 1.5%, I'm surprised it was only that much. Damn, there's only 210 check-ins. When you look at the previous one, there was 36,000. So, um, excuse me. Will did have it. He gave it a four. Uh, holy cow, this beer is delicious. I'd say it's really good too. Not ha not as much pumpkin flavor as last year's. Still good though. Well, I can't compare it. <laughs> Apparently, uh, people liked it more than last one overall. So, nice roasty pumpkin coffee with spices booming. Light hopped, lightly hopped with a tasty, tasty, nice finish. New version is higher ABV. Also, so beware. Coffee. Really, really roasted. Yeah, I wouldn't say coffee per se. Dark chocolate, lots of cinnamon, roasted coffee. Hey, fuck you. Um, still one of my perennial favorites. Sweet, spicy, and caramelly. Is made even better when paired with a few pieces of honeycomb floating. And dude, ain't nobody got time for that. By the way, the last one I forgot to put bourbon in. So, whatever. Cinnamon, a bit strong. Not bad. Pumpkin brew. I don't, think it, I don't think it's that strong. Now, we'll see. You can tell it's got a lot of cinnamon in it because the head is kind of a reddish, dark orangish color. A good beer when there's almost a full moon. It's 12.52 p.m. <laughs> and this dude gave it a two and a half and no reason why. Tom J., you're a cocksucker. Okay. Um, this got a 3.86 spit everywhere out of five which on my score is going to be a seven and three quarters ish that is super low if I was to pick this up and see pumpkin stout with cinnamon and chocolate okay now it's warmer so the sweetness is kind of destroyed 
the chocolate notes are kind of dead. It's kind of a cocoa finish now. So if you want it sweeter, get it fresh out the fridge. Maybe even put it in the freezer for 20 minutes after you've had it in the fridge. Uh, get it super cold. Get it down to as close to 30 as you can. And start on it then. Drink on it, you know, next 20, 30 minutes. And by that time, it's probably still going to be rather cold. Especially cold. It's definitely going to be colder than what it is now in my glass. You'll get more of the chocolate. Um, one second. Make sure nobody's saying anything. Because I can't see shit. One thing I know, it's got some hops in it. <coughs> There's a certain hop. I don't know which one. It, I cannot nail it down. It just makes me sneeze. Ugh, damn. And that's funny. I think that's probably maybe the fifth or sixth time in the eight years I've been doing beer reviews. I've actually sneezed on camera. Uh, nobody's watching. Prep for it, buddy. You're letting me down. Letting me down. Oh, you're an asshole. There you go. Uh, man, what do people get it? Seven, three quarter. I'm going to say eight and a half, nine, something around there. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go closer to a nine because commercial craft beer that you can get in a lot of different states, it's not a... Dude, I would honestly compare this with something I could get locally. Like, if I could get this at Big Friendly, Prairie, um, I think Vanessa House would make it a lot sweeter than what it is, because I wouldn't have to worry about them. Uh, maybe Stone Cloud, do something like this. I think this would be maybe a step below, but it would be up there with them. Like, if you were to have both side by side in, in like a blind taste test, you'd be like, yeah, that... I don't know what it is. Elysian is pretty good. Then you'd have what I'm used to here locally and be like, that's good too. It's a little sweeter. I like it. Uh, it's bumped up a notch on the flavor. But still, this is good. I'm going to say nine. Really nice. I do like it. So, there you go. Um, maybe the next 20, 30 minutes I'll do another live. Because I'm lazy and I don't like taking video from my phone to the computer to upload I, of course, I'm not going to be able to put this on my external hard drive, but no one gives a shit anyway. That's only for backup. There you go. We'll be seeing you.